Hey guys, welcome to the couch. I'm James Marshall. Today we've got a couple of Hurricanes legends. This week we've got Geordie Barrett and Maddie Proctor. We'll just ask them a couple of questions. So, who do you reckon the best looking Hurricane is? Billy Proctor. Oh yeah. You'll say the same too, right? Um, I'd say Wes Goosen. You reckon? Yeah. Who's the hardest player you've had to tackle? Mine would be um, Charles Piertel. Going back a few years now, but I mean, we're playing him in the Night Team Cup. <laughs> he's pretty hard to tackle. He's got silky, silky footwork and he's pretty strong as well. So. Oh, I thought you were going to say Setter. And him. <laughs> <laughs> if you had to be handcuffed to one of the boys for a year, who would you go? Can be management? I'd go Ben May. Ben May. He's, um, he has a lot of days off <laughs> and he goes hunting all the time, so probably Bama. Whatever you get yeah, hunting. I do not know. It wouldn't be Vince because he never showers, so it would not be <laughs> handcuffed to him. <laughs> um, I don't know, maybe Geordie or Wes or yourself, because we've all got, we all got um, outside hobbies that we all share. Geordie, were you always the most skillful Barrett growing up? No. <laughs> Who was? Probably Blake, actually. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he was always the most skillful at school in terms of first 11 and first 15. Mm. What's your um, favourite fan moment? Um, I was in the crowd the day that Tasman Markle scored a try and Marty Banks <laughs> uh, jumped the advertising boards, finished the beer, then went and picked the <laughs> conversion. So that was probably my favourite fan you know, moment. That's pretty, pretty classy for Banksy. Did you throw him the beer? No, nah, I didn't. Nah. One of the boys down the front. Okay, what's it mean to play in front of a full stadium at Westpac? Ooh. You've done that a lot over your career. Oh, I reckon it's pretty cool. Um, I don't know, I think it's a different feeling when you play at home in front of your fans, um, especially when they pack up the stadium. But I don't know, you get a pretty cool buzz running out. What do you do when you run out? I know just a few of the boys pump the chest and nah, what's your nah, game? I just, I just keep it pretty standard and just run to where I'm supposed to go. <laughs> <laughs> Start the game. <laughs> So humble. Who's the most niggly player in world rugby? Because I know there's a few in this team. You're right up there. So is he. Is he? <laughs> I'd have to go with Kurt Baker. Oh, yeah. He is very niggly. He's one of the, before I met him, I, I didn't really like him. I didn't really see eye to eye with him. But he's actually, a, he's actually a top man. And once he gets to know him, he's a good bloke. Dane Coles, for sure. Yeah. It's meant to be your role model and then you see him do some grubby things, so you question that quite often. So I'm going to ask Maddie a question, Geordie's going to answer it. You try and make your lips go at just the right time while looking at the camera. Maddie, you're off to Northampton next year, are you looking forward to it? Yeah, can't wait. Uh, ever since I started playing rugby, all I wanted to do was cash checks, so um, 2020 can't come quick enough. <laughs> but well, was, not meant to look at the you're not uh, he is you're like the puppet he's the uh, we can try it again but that was quite good that was a good answer <laughs> that should probably do us all good boys <laughs>